Hello there, so I'm thinking about doing something that I don't do. Let's see if I can find this under my match history. Um, 3v3, have I played a single 3v3 game on ladder? Oh, I can just, no, I can't. Uh, 3v3, there we go. Okay, so yes, I have played a little bit of 3v3. Um, this was actually with friends, two of these games. I don't know if the third one was on ladder, but as you can see, I still need to do my placement matches. I'm going to try it out and <laughs> thought I'd just throw it up there and see what happens. Uh, 3v3 is something I'm not very good at and it's really, really different from even 2v2 or 1v1 because 3v3 becomes a very low tech rush game. It's like you are guaranteed to get attacked early in the game. You cannot afford to try doing any tech to get the advantage any fast expands because 90% of the time if you try and do anything other than just quickly throw up some defense or get an attacking army you are going to get slaughtered so I usually get slaughtered on 3v3 because you know I try and play it more like a 1v1 or you know 2v2 style so this is an interesting map it looks like as if um, all of your ramps are located sort of in a central area um, towards that Oh, that mineral patch um, the bottom left and the top right it seems like all of the ramps are sort of centered in towards there I don't see any backdoor hidden rocks ramps yet so that looks good looks like it's not going to be super hard to defend ourselves um, but we will find out um, let's see I have a Protoss ally and I have a Zerg ally and I've got the best base out of everyone in my opinion yep no backdoor rocks that is awesome um, okay let's get this going Okay, I f I'm not going to do that because I think he's a total noob to say that. I am going to get units fast. Uh, <laughs> I am not going to get a freaking gold expansion right away. I think that is a dumb idea, as I've already described to you uh, why and how I think that's a bad idea. Let's just get some scouting going on. Let's get another probe. Oh, I don't. There we go. Look at that. Chrono boost from the minimap. Hell yes, I'm on fire. Anyways, um, hopefully this mic's recording properly, otherwise I record this for absolutely no reason. Oops, a little bit of a slip up there, not a big deal. Um, but, okay, let's get this scouting going and see what the hell's going on with our opponents. Yeah! Um, okay, I'm going to go for the 13 gate this time instead of the usual 12 gate. And we will see what happens with that. Hell yeah! Okay, build, gateway, let's sort of make a wall, or actually I'll sort of make a wall over here, uh, and let's send them back here, and whoa, come on. Oh, I didn't really scout that Zerg player very well, let's make sure he's not doing anything fishy, um, really want to check for, especially you want to check for things such as early spawning pools um, yeah he's going for 14 hatch I think and my probes done oh good I didn't I had another probe cubed up wasn't a big deal um, let's get two guys on gas I don't wanna the reason why I'm not actually putting the full three like I gotta put some on there since I built it otherwise it wasn't worth building but I don't want to put three right now because I want to have the extra minerals um, because I want to get out units and crap early on Okay, so this guy, he killed me off. Oh, I couldn't see what he had. That sort of sucks. I'm a little disappointed I didn't get to see that. Now I have no idea what that building is. You can't really tell. So spawning pool and something unknown. And I really want to scout, so I'm going to send this in here. I'm going to send that guy back in there. May not work. Forgot to build a worker, of course. Okay, now I'm going to transfer my third one to that um, thing called gas. And I'm going to now build some extra pylons as well as an extra gateway. And I should be building my cybernetics core. There we go. It's ready to be built. So that is going down. And then don't have enough for a zealot yet. Throw this guy back here. Uh, Chrono boost out another worker. Get another one queued up for the hell of it. Um, and what do we have here? We have a Protoss player. Looks like he's basically doing some variation of a four gate. Um, Pretty simple, pretty standard. Ah, fuck. 
I didn't control that. If I had thought ahead, I could have controlled that. I could have clicked on a mineral patch, got him out of there. Um, would have been epic if I had done that, but I didn't. So, oh well, those things happen. Actually, no, I don't want to do that. I'm going to go for another gateway before I get my other gas. Um, Cyber's done. I'm now going to get a sentry out. I do have a little bit of extra gas, and I don't want to buy a stalker yet. And it looks like supply, supply, supply. I'm acting okay, but I'm going to put one down here just to make sure there's no hidden surprises coming at me later. Uh, chrono boost. What do I want to chrono boost? This, and I'll get warp gate technology. Oh, I've got another chrono boost ready. I'll use that on my workers then, just for the hell of it. And now I'm going to start getting out some stalkers as well, and another sentry. Nope, not enough to best being yet. Let's see, is this... No, that's nothing really to worry about. He can easily control that um, with the army that he has. Okay, there we go. Control group one. And because those will be becoming warp gates, I'm not actually going to worry about... Uh, Okay, I'm going to need more gas really soon. <laughs> I'm starting to run low. I'm not going to worry about, um, yeah, whatever I was going to say. I don't know. So, sorry about that. Oh, I was going to chrono boost that. Not a big deal, though. I really don't need the warp gates that badly. Um, anyways, let's get these there. And let's get a probe just chilling on the cell naga. As long as they don't have units there, they might. And if they do, I'm pretty screwed. But either way, um, actually... You know what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and take this gold. I'm going to be really greedy and see what happens. Um, sweet. Let's see. I don't know what I'm building, but I am building shit. And oh! And yeah, that guy's getting owned in the face. I really should be helping him. So I am sending my units over there. Putting up a guardian shield, that's a good idea. Holy crap, my units are getting wasted. Time to fall back. Okay, and they've got reinforcements coming. But I should have reinforcements soon too. Oh my god. Nope. Retreat, retreat! I saw all those zealots coming in. I'm like, screw that, boys. I am out of here. Uh, I would have gotten owned otherwise. Oh, I should have made these old warp gates. I always forget to do that. And now crap's building, so I can't really do anything about it. Um, let's build a forge up here so I can get out some cannons soon. Let's make these all warp gates. You press the G key. Um, and of course, still building workers. The reason why I'm doing that is because I know that... And he's the guy who wanted to get the gold. Okay, so now I'm going to start sending in my units to defend. I notice I'm getting a lot of zealots because I know that that one guy is still using a heavy army of zerglings. And I definitely don't want to get owned in the face. Let's make all of my things and let's transfer some workers. That's too many. And let's hope that they don't get caught. Okay, anyways. Um... <laughs> I want to build sentries because I have a lot too much gas, but... And let's share unit control, even though one of my allies left. And we want to actually secure this base again. The reason why I want to secure this base is then I can put his units working on... Um, I can get them working and they will gather resources and automatically send it to our team. So if you didn't know that, when you're in a multiplayer game, that is one thing you can do is, oh, I can just build a nexus there too, is another option. Um, so I'm going to put my units in a sort of centralized location, and let's get a worker over there, and, oh, no, my ally has already taken that, so I will build my nexus down here instead then. And, ooh, I'm, looks like I'm undersaturated at that base, so... Gonna get a few more there. Um, Jesus, I'm really not doing too well. Wow, that looks like a scary army. My macro is slipping like crazy. Why can't I build stalkers? S. Oh, pylons. Crap, I am supply block like crazy. That really sucks. Um, 
just realized that. That sucks. And also, I need to start teching up. We're sort of at that point in the game where you can actually afford to tech up. Um, so I definitely need to do that. I really do need to start teching up soon. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a counter push. Um, the only downside is that one of the players really... Uh, one of the players doesn't seem to be attacking at all. Okay, let's build some units. The yellow player doesn't seem to be doing anything, so my guess is that he's like teching up like crazy or who knows. So he's going to be really scared, I bet you. Anyways, need some more production facilities, of course. You always need more production facilities. So, counterattack, working out pretty good so far. Got to keep an eye on the minimap. Make sure I don't get surprised at any point. Because getting surprised really sucks. Um, but, so far, no response. They're too busy trying to chill off, eat off that base. Awesome. Um, I don't even know if my allies are... Whoa! No, I'm not under attack. I thought I was. Oh, I am! Shit! He's got DTs. Oh, crap. See, there was a reason why I got that... Um, what should we call it? Oh, crap. I need... I need observers. I need observers. <laughs> Your warriors have engaged the enemy. Okay, so I've got to be really careful about this, because I don't even have any cannons or anything up at my base yet. And... Okay... And let's make these warp gates. And let's get my army going around. Oh, there it is. There is DT's. Hell yeah, Observer, for the win. Um, and I totally forgot that this base was ready to be saturated. Um, wow. Okay, let's get some technology. I'm not going to get Blink Stalkers because I know I can't micro them right now. Um, especially since I'm going a ton of sentries. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. So, thankfully though, I do have my gold up and running, which is pretty goddamn sweet to get a fully saturated gold. Uh, let's chrono boost that. Do I have another forge? I thought I built another forge so I could get tech. Apparently I didn't. Um, okay, I want to build some extra forges, that way I can get out stuff a lot quicker. I'm going to put a few cannons up just because I know they went the DT tech. Um, and I want to get high Templars, is what I've decided for my tech route. So I need to build that now. But I like to build a couple of them in case one gets destroyed, sort of idea. Okay, my ally team seems to be doing pretty good at um, attacking shit. So anyways, I'm going to go in here and... I need some more observers in case one of mine gets killed. Uh, let's have them follow some units around. Let's see what's over here, make sure they haven't taken the gold. Um, let's try and get some workers being built. Chrono boost, chrono boost, chrono boost. Uh, can I build? Let's queue up this. Let's go build that. Let's unqueue this actually. Because I have three of these operational now. And ah, gas, good, I do actually have enough. Um, BA, BA, okay, let's look here, I probably can't afford this yet, um, Research complete. oh, through you, I've got DTs in my base, raping my mineral, my probes, and of course, I never notice that, I'm horrible for that, um, Wow, big that army is, but look at that, sick force fields, and his is just cut off completely. And I need to retreat though, because his army is way bigger than mine. And of course, I need to build some pylons in different places, so that I can, uh, you know, and... Because they are just getting out of control, um, and... Jesus, more production facilities or something. I also need a lot more pylons. I'm just going to start strewing them all over the map because with warp gates, that's the idea. Because you can just warp crap in. Okay, start getting my high Templar stuff. I really should have got that earlier. Oh well. You know, you win some, you lose some. And I'm going to really need a lot of units. 
And thankfully, Bane really aren't that effective against Protoss. Ah, frick off. Big mistake on my blunt, my side. A big blunder the way I use those heals because of the Hydras. Um, I really should have been using Garden Shields. Um, he didn't have many ground forces left. But we're probably screwed anyways. Um, I'm still trying just for the hell of it. Because I can sort of deal, you know. Oh, I'm screwed. We are screwed completely. I just can't build units fast enough. My macro slipped way too much. Um, oh well, those things happen. Um, you know. Let's get some temps out, see what they can do. One Templar. Oh, gas! Of course it's the gas. At least they haven't found my, um, uh, my gold expansion. For some reason, they're just ignoring it. Don't ask me why. And I've got a ton of minerals, so now I should make zealots. Ah! Come on! Storm! Storm, you bitches! Why won't they storm? Ah, that was annoying! They would not storm. Why? It's like as if they didn't have the energy. Maybe the Kydarian Amulet isn't finished? Yeah, it isn't finished. Crap. That is my problem. So, yeah, I'm gonna lose. We are gonna lose as our team. Our team failed. But then again, Red was sort of a total noob, and also I didn't help him back him up enough. But Purple was even, or Blue was even the bigger noob. Like, he did absolutely nothing useful. Pisses me off. Oh well. We cannot hold. We cannot hold. So I'm gonna just uh, diss my ally a little bit. It's not, it's bad manner to do that, but I'm gonna do that, and I am going to quit. So there you go. Um, uh, I'm just going to quickly zip through that replay for anyone who sort of is curious about what did happen. Uh, this movie is getting a bit long, but hell, whatever, you know. Whoa, that was weird, that overlay. Anyways, let's go 8 times faster D um, for our famous display tab. And as you can see, what's going on? Uh, I'm just going to say, yeah, my allies don't have the best build order timing macro. Um, but doesn't look horrible yet. Purple's really was slipping for a second there. He had nothing for a second, but overall I'm zipping through so fast. Like yellow though, very aggressive, four gating, um, or three gate with a cyber. Uh, basically. Yeah, and then oh, in base hatchery. Ooh, they're really wanting to put the hurt on. So yellow's doing a ton of scouting around. Proxy pylon right there, I didn't even notice. Um, red, like you can see my allies taking all these early expansions. Horrible, horrible, horrible. Uh, Red just getting raped. We don't even help him. Yeah. Uh, so that was sort of silly that we didn't help him at all. But as you can see, our opponent, they just went for a ton of ton of units. My macro, as you can see, is slipping. I did get that second base though just because Red was being killed off and I was like, I need to get some sort of advantage. So I went for Gideon economic advantage and instead of you know, I said, okay, I'll get an econ advantage right now while he's being killed off. So that's what I did. But I really didn't carry it forward through well enough. I really let my macro slip. I didn't use this base at all. Uh, that definitely killed me. But as you can see, like, even yellow is still one base. Um, Blue's doing some very good harass with those mutas, which is keeping them on their toes. That's great. But they just got a huge army. Oh, that's my huge army. Uh, there's that huge army. Yeah, I sort of got slaughtered. But if we look at this... Um, Purple's doing the best for units lost because that's because he's not fighting that much, I guess. Um, my unit lost is skyrocketing, but we're already at a losing point. Look at Red though, amazing. Oh no, he's my ally who's dead. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, I just keep getting outnumbered, and that's the game. So as you can see, they went, you know, like my the dark blue player. He just went way too macro, like way too macro heavy, getting all those extra bases, getting spine crawlers out the wazoo. That was horrible because he didn't even get attacked. And then we let Red die without giving a big advantage, getting a big advantage. So there were, you know, a lot of little mistakes we made, as you can tell. Ah, those things happen. So <laughs> we lost the game. I tried fight valiantly, wasn't enough. Um, 
That Kaidarian amulet, when did that finally finish? Did it? Okay, it's done there. Let's go back to, this is probably when I wanted to like storm. Let's pause. Yeah, this is sort of around the point where I wanted to storm. A little bit earlier though, because it did fast forward. So 20 minutes. Um, okay, 20 minutes. It was almost done. Let's see when this thing finishes. But the thing is, the problem is if I've already warped them in, they don't have that extra energy. Um, 75 for a storm. Yeah, see I'm warping it in and it's not done, so they won't have a bat's chance in hell of storming. Okay, now it's done, so will this guy come in with extra energy? No! Bugger me, I started him just like half a second too early, so he's not going to have that extra energy for a storm. Um, one of my guys ends up getting enough real soon. That one. So, yep, not that that storm would have saved me against this huge army, because my ally was being a complete idiot. Did he, like... No, he didn't leave the game, but he's his ass broke on minerals. Um, even if he asked for me for minerals, I would have forgotten, but I don't think he did. Um, yeah, no, he didn't ask me for minerals at all. Total new stick. So, anyways, <laughs> couldn't expect any help from my ally, um, and I can't really do 1v3. So, there you go. And... This is a perfect test to see if my audio sync is any better now that I've overclocked my CPU. It won't be taxed as hardcore, and hopefully that means that, hell yeah, audio problems won't be horrible like they are in all my other videos. So thanks for watching, hope you guys enjoyed me trying out a 3v3 and getting my ass pwned.